Yo, it's your boy Suave the Wiz with the Mad Ad News. Thanks for stopping by. We got something cool to talk about. These two guys, these two men were arrested after they posted as members of the Wu-Tang Clan in three different five-star Georgia hotels. Their bills totaled over 100000 in goods and services. The men's names were Aaron Barnes, Burpo, and Walker Washington. They told the hotel management at the Georgia Terrace Hotel and Hyatt Regency in Atlanta that they were WTC members, Wu-Tang Clan members, and they were a part of Rock Nation. Both of them, they were both in Rolls Royce Phantoms that they just, you know, they ran it just to flex and look These good. These guys went ahead, had a night on the town, toga party, and they went to a few local Atlanta areas, Atlanta studios, and ended up racking up a bill for seventeen thousand dollars. I don't. Know. And then what? What trips me out is actually they put it on their tab as if they had face or they had clout. Like what I don't understand is who let you niggas in, and how don't people know that you guys are not a part of the Wu Tang Clan? The Wu Tang Clan is international. Everybody knows the Wu-Tang Clan. Whether you're in America, you're in Asia, you're in Africa, everybody knows the Wu-Tang Clan. So whether you guys are members that are on the outskirts or if that was the case, you guys were like people that are just in the cut. Yo, niggas would know who you are. Like niggas would probably know like, oh yeah, that's him. But it's sad to see that nobody could identify these niggas as frauds until, you know, they went to the hotel for the third time in Augusta. And then the staff members were able to identify these idiots. And that's what brought them to their demise. The two were charged with conspiracy to commit wire fraud and aggravated identity theft. I wonder what the Wu-Tang Clan thinks about this if they heard this story. It's been the Mad Ad News with your boy Suave the Wiz. Thanks for stopping by. I'm out of here.